how yeah. the song The Pit did not become the anthem during COVID is a really missed opportunity. I was in the pit. You were in the pit. We all fell in the pit. Do you know what the, what's here's the hilarious thing about this song? <laughs> he goes, I, we all fell in it, the pit. I take down to the paradise city <laughs> grass. <laughs> you know, it's, it's that's the song. It's actually Paradise City. It's the chord progression of Paradise City. Yeah. That drum fill is just Paradise City. It goes like, oh, it goes into it, yeah. man. We, we practiced that song a million times. We played it a million times. Amazing. We went, we I love went it. And, do you remember that we went to that studio to practice it and then we played it live in, yes. the, reco- in, in the shoot, man? It was actually really fun. I'd never, I, you know, f- played guitar just recreationally for fun. Uh, I guess, did I say recreationally and for fun? <laughs> I think it's a little redundant. Um, I played guitar, not professionally. And then we got to do a band practice and we became a band and we had band practice and we rehearsed and we got to play a live party. We got to play that stuff live and then we got to play the rap that was party great. live. It was cool. We be, mouse rap became a real thing and we, it was really cool. Mike Shore made me join the band because he was like, you were in a, you were in a punk rock band when you were a kid, right? So I, pl- I played a band when I was like 17. And he's like, it'll be really funny if you're just, you're just going to be in this one episode. Like, you'll just be in this one episode. Like, you'll play in the background. You'll be, you'll come to set this one time and then Pratt will sing or whatever. It's easy. And then, of course, Mouse Ride is in 15 episodes. (laughs) So it's like, you got to keep going to set, keep learning the songs. But Pratt's right. Like, the thing that was fun about it is we would actually learn the songs and then we would play them at the rap party every year. Whatever five Mouse Ride songs we learned that year, we would play at the rap party. So that was really fun. Essentially, all pretty much the same song. One, four, five. (laughs) Yeah. Yeah, um, and we're going to have an album out now. Did you know about that? I saw that. Yeah, I saw that. Uh, did you record that? <laughs> you recorded it while I, we were doing the show. I guess, I guess we have yeah. It's, it's Mouse Rap, the awesome album. It's all the songs that we did on Parks and Rec. No one consulted me about it. They're like, uh, no. hey, do you want to promote this album? I was like, what, there's an album? And then they were like, yeah, do you want to promote it? And part of me is like, yeah, that'd be cool. I'd love, I've always wanted to have that be like that actor who has the vanity album. You know, I hope it gets a million copies and I get the, the fucking, the, the platinum yeah. album on my wall. But then on the other hand, I'm like, but you're not going to like, I don't know. I don't think I'm being compensated for this beyond the, whatever I, $15,000 an episode I was making for the show. Or something. Yeah, me so neither. Like, <laughs> like, um, I think no. I think I'm going to say no. A hard pass on promoting your album. <laughs> your album. They didn't tell anybody. They. I don't think they told Mike. I don't know. I don't know. It just came out. I don't know what I saw. Thing. I was like, wait, what? I was like, I'm in Mouse Rat. I didn't know about that. <laughs> <laughs> I just hope out. that Mark Rivers gets uh, compensated because that dude is is the heart and soul and brains and talent behind Mouse Rat. So if anything, I would just advocate that Mark be taken care of because he did such a great job. Absolutely. Mark Rivers was the drummer in Mouse Red, and he wrote pretty much all the songs. And I think he recorded a lot of the tracks. And like he would record a scratch track, yeah. and then you know Chris would sing the actual vocals. But yeah, um, yeah he's, a, he's a really funny guy, and he's a great musician, and he wrote all these songs. Yeah. Really complicated, as we said, GCD-type songs, but they are, they are <laughs> pitch perfect for what it is, right? They're pitch oh, perfect they for are. what and, it is. And, and in fact, if you go into the lyrics of the songs, which I think he would get credit for writing, for the most part... Uh, they're brilliant pieces of comedic writing. I mean, yep. I think there's one song. I don't know if it was a Mark Rivers song, but one song is called Two Birds Holding Hands. And it says, Two Birds Holding Hands, so much better than one. And it's like the idea that birds are holding hands. And then it's this whole thing like, we could fly through the ocean. Really good, <laughs> bad uh, lyrics. <laughs> And, and of course, every song includes the lyric, spread your wings and fly. Yeah. So that's spread your wings and flies in every chorus. It's in every, you know, that's just good writing. 